Hey art friends, today we are going to draw a Christmas raccoon. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You need your drawing supplies. And for this lesson, it's a little more challenging. So we're gonna use a pencil first to draw the main shapes. And then we'll use a marker. You also need some- Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Because we're using markers to draw with and color, we're also using marker paper to draw on. This helps make our markers last longer and also protects our table. But if you're using something else like colored pencils or even crayons, you can use whatever paper you want. Okay, let's start by, first we're gonna use our pencil to draw a circle for our raccoon's head. The nice thing about using a pencil is that you can redraw the shape if you want to draw any different. Oh, I like how big yours is. I'm going to draw my raccoon head bigger too. And then if you have extra lines, you can erase any of the lines you don't want to keep. So we could fast forward this part, but I'm going to erase the first circle that I drew. Now we could draw our raccoon's body. We're going to draw a letter U that comes down and then back up. Oh, I'm gonna make it shorter or smaller so that it's cuter. It's gonna look more like a baby with a smaller body and a big head. So I'll race this bottom part next. Now we can draw the shape for our raccoon's ears. We're gonna draw a little upside down V, letter V, but at the very end of that letter V or the point, we're gonna draw a curve or rounded so that's not a sharp ear. Yeah. Nice. Now we can also draw the side of our raccoon's cheeks or the fur that's coming out. So we're going to start here on the side of the circle and curve out to the edge of the paper. Next we can draw a curve that connects from that line or curve out here on the cheek and then back into the chin. Next, let's draw a curve right here for our raccoon's scarf. And then we could draw a cookie. We're gonna draw another circle about this size. And we can overlap over the scarf. Then let's erase the guideline or the scarf line that's going through the cookie. That way the cookie looks like it's in front of the scarf. Now let's draw a little oval right here for the raccoon's nose. And we're drawing it right in the middle and then towards the bottom. And I'm gonna draw it a little more in the center. I'm gonna scoot it over. And then we can draw the eyes. We're gonna draw, oh, we could draw really big eyes if we want. I'm gonna draw this size. And they're more oval shaped than circles. We finished drawing all of the main shapes with our pencil. Now we're ready to switch to our marker. But also remember, you can use whatever you have. You don't have to use marker. You can continue with your pencil or even switch to colored pencil or crayons. Okay, now let's start by adding our little Santa hat up here on the top of our raccoon's head. So I'm gonna start here next to the left ear and I'm gonna draw a bumpy line that comes over and we're gonna go to about the middle of the other ear. Yeah, and then we can draw a bumpy line going over the top. And so some of the bumps are little, but some of them are big. You, want to, you can mix them up. So it looks a little more natural. Nice, now let's switch to our eraser and we can erase all of the guidelines that are inside of the fluffy part of the hat. Then we'll switch back to our marker and let's draw the outside shape of our raccoon's head. I'm gonna start here on the left side and I'm gonna first draw the curve right on top of the pencil line that comes all the way down to the cheek or the fur on the cheek, yeah. And then we can draw a zigzag line, but watch, I'm using the pencil guideline as a guide for the zigzags. And then when I come down here, I'm gonna just come right into the cheek. So we'll just have those zigzags on the fur that's on the cheek. <laughs> there you go. Keep going and then right into the chin. And then let's do the same thing over here. We'll first draw over the pencil guideline out to the point. And then we can draw the zigzag line into the chin, but use the pencil line as a guide.
Then let's connect the two cheeks together with the chin line and we'll connect over to the other side. Yeah, and then we can switch back to our eraser and erase the pencil lines that are inside of the cheeks. And also you can erase any of the other pencil lines that you can still see next to the marker. Now let's come back up here and trace over the pencil line for the left ear. And we could also do the same thing for the right ear. Then we could draw the inside of the ear. I'm gonna draw that same shape, but I'm drawing it further away on the right side, but closer on the left side. And then we can switch that over here for the other ear. Now we're ready to finish the Santa hat. Let's start over here and we could draw a curve that comes over and connects to the top of the right ear. Then we're gonna imagine that going behind the ear, coming down. We can stop right about here. And then let's draw a little fluffy part on the end of a little pom-pom on the end of our Santa hat. <laughs> Good job, you did it. We finished our Santa hat and also the outside shape of a raccoon. Let's draw the face next. We can start by drawing the oval for the nose. We could draw a little curved W underneath the nose for the mouth. And we could draw the mouth open too, like she's getting ready to eat the cookie. <laughs> we can also add a little tongue inside. And let's draw the eyes next. We could draw a big oval tracing over the pencil line. And I'm going to draw that same oval shape over here for the other eye. Then let's draw a big, well, smaller little circle inside for the highlight. And we're going to color in the big oval, but leave the little circle white. Let's do that at the end when we're coloring our entire drawing. Let's move on to the body next. Well, we can draw the arms first. Let's start right here and we're gonna draw a curve or a sideways letter U for one arm that's hanging onto the cookie. And then we can draw that same sideways U shape for the other arm. And then let's draw two little toe lines on each hand. Yeah, and then we could draw a bumpy line that goes over the pencil guideline for the cookie. And we'll draw it on the top and the bottom. We want to make sure that we don't go through the hand. And then we can draw the scarf next. Let's come over here and we'll come out past the body. And we can do the same thing on the right side too. Then let's draw the outside of the scarf. We're going to draw a little bump. We're going to draw a little wrinkle in our scarf and we can draw another bump to finish up to the chin or the cheeks. And we'll do the same thing over here. Nice, now let's draw the feet. We're gonna start here and draw an oval shape that comes out past the body. And then look, I'm gonna stop right here. So we're gonna start right under the arm and we'll leave a little space right here. And then let's do that same shape on the right side, but going the other direction. Then we can connect in between the two feet. And let's also draw a line that connects here and here. Let's switch to our eraser and erase all of the guidelines on the body. Let's draw the end of the scarf over here on the right side. We we'll use our markers and we'll come down and then we can also come out to the side. This is a really long scarf. And then we can draw the other side of our scarf, matching. And then in between these two curves, we can draw little dashes for the string or the yarn or the end of the scarf. Yeah. Okay, what's our raccoon missing? A tail. Yeah, we need to draw the tail. Well, let's draw it coming out to the side over here. So we'll draw a curve coming out from the scarf and then I'm going to curve back down and into the foot. 
We did it! We finished drawing our raccoons. Well, they don't really look like raccoons yet. What do we still need to do? Still need to color it. Yeah, my favorite part. Now, we are going to fast forward, so remember to pause the video at the very end, and you can use our drawings as inspiration for yours. You ready to speed things up? Yes. Actually, before we fast forward, let's do a few more details to our raccoon's face. We're using our markers, and we have WG7, which is a warm, dark gray, and WG3, it's a lighter, warm gray. Now, we're going to first draw with these markers the details, or the mask, so that our art friends know where to color. So I'm going to start over the eye right here, and we're going to draw a curve that comes out and then we're going to stop there. And I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. So we're going to curve over, down, and then stop. Yeah. And then right here, we can draw a zigzag that matches the cheek fur out to there. And then we can do the same thing on this side. And you can also connect it into the chin. Then we're going to draw another curve that's going to go over the nose. And you could add little zigzags too if you want. Or you could leave the zigzags off if it's a little more challenging. You can keep it easier by just going up and over the nose. Nice. Now right here I'm going to connect the eyes maybe with... A little zigzag there too. Now let's color in the shape that goes over the eyes and we want to leave the forehead and also the chin and mouth area white. Then while you're finishing in the mask we're going to come over here also and add the stripes to the tail. So I'm going to draw two curves like this and we'll color in using the same WG or dark warm gray on the tail. Then we're also going to color in the paws. So I'm going to draw a curve here. And I can color in a little paws holding on to the cookie. Oh, and I'm going to come over here and color in the end of the tail. Then the last thing with the dark marker, I'm going to add a zigzag inside of the ear and then color that in. So we got a little bit of fur inside of our raccoon's ears. Next we're switching to our WG3, the light gray, and we're going to draw another line that comes right here from the center. We're going to go over the eyes. We could even add little zigzags if you want, and then connect to the cheek. And we can do the same, repeat that same curve and zigzags over here for the right eye. Now we're ready to color everything above these two zigzag lines. And then we'll color in the body and also the arms, but leave the feet white. And then we'll also color in everything else. You ready to speed things up? Yes. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our raccoons and they turned out perfect. I especially love yours. Oh, thanks. I love yours too. Oh. I love your scarf. Oh, thanks. I added a little extra details. And you guys can pause the video right now to match our same coloring or you could color any way you want. Oh yeah, you could draw a stack of cookies on the side and he's really hungry. You could also add a background with trees. Oh, that would complete your drawing by adding a background. If you have our same Art for Kids Hub marker set, you could use the same colors as us. We use those two grays, WG7 and also WG3. I also use WG1 for the little shadow down here at the bottom. We used 103 brown for the cookie. Oh, and also 15 red for the hat, scarf, and the little M&Ms or um, candies inside of the cookies. And then we use 341 pink for the tongue. Oh yeah, and the dark red too for the back of the mouth. And then I use 66 blue for the hat, but you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. And last, we used a blue colored pencil to add another highlight at the very bottom of a raccoon's eyes to make them look even shinier. We hope you had fun drawing a Christmas raccoon with us. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.